Hi there, I'm Allison from Beacon Stack, and today I'm going to show you how to bulk upload dynamic QR codes using Google Sheets. So the first thing you want to do is create a new Google Sheet that's completely empty. You can see here that I've named it Beacon Stack Demo Bulk Uploads, um, and then I'm going to add Beacon Stack as an add-on. So in my new Google Sheet, I go to Add-ons. You can see that I already have Beacon Stack added, but if you haven't added it yet, you just go to Get Add-ons. From there, you just search for Beacon Stack, and it will be the first thing that pops up. So once you've installed that add-on, you can get started. So the first thing you want to do is connect your Beacon Stack account to this Google Sheet. So I'm going to click Connect Beacon Stack Account, and then there are two pieces of information that I need to add in. The first is the API token, and the second is the organization ID. You can find both of these pieces of information in your Beacon Stack account. So I'm going to go to Beacon Stack. You can see here that I have something called a developer token. This is going to be the API key. So I just copy this, paste it, and then I need to add in the organization ID. So when you are bulk uploading dynamic QR codes using Google Sheets, each of your spreadsheets will only be able to bulk upload codes to one organization. If you have multiple organizations that you want to bulk upload codes to, you're going to have to create separate Google Sheets for each one. So in this case, I'm going to have them upload to 36201, which is the master organization. And you can also easily move these codes around between organizations once they're in the dashboard, but it won't be as easy to do it in bulk. So you can see here I've got 36201, all the organization IDs are listed here. And then once I've got this information, I click Authenticate. So now it's connected. From there, I need to determine what type of campaign I want to create. In this case, I believe I want to create a web URL campaign. So the pieces of information that I want to input are these. The first one is the name of the QR code. This is just the name that you'll see in the dashboard. The second one is the web URL. This is where the code will direct. The third one is the QR code ID. And then the fourth one is the QR download link. So these two pieces of information I do not need yet. They will populate once I bulk up, begin bulk uploading my codes. So you can see here that name is listed. So I'll say Beacon Stack Test 1, A rather, and Beacon Stack Test B. So I'll use BeaconStack.com as my URL. So I'll just paste that. And then from there, I can start the bulk upload process. I only have two here, but you can have it be as many as you'd like. From there, I'll select these two. I'll go to Add-ons, Beacon Stack, Create or Update Dynamic QR Codes. And in this case, I'll be doing a web URL. So now we can get started with the bulk upload. From here, um, you can see that the two input columns are name in column A and web URL in column B. So the input columns are where I have added information. Then the output columns are where the QR code bulk upload process will generate the information. So the QR code ID will be generated in column C, and the QR download URL will be generated in column D. So once I set that up, I click Next. I can choose between the templates that I've created in the Beacon Stack dashboard. In this case, I'm going to choose the default template here. I'm not going to enable advanced location analytics on these codes, but it is an option for you. And then I'll click Create. So these will upload now. So let's just give it a second. And you can see that both the QR code ID and the download link have populated. So when I go into the dashboard and I look at the list view of my codes, you'll see that they've shown up here, Beacon Stack Test A and Beacon Stack Test B. From there, I have a few more options for things I might want to add. So using the bulk upload process, I can assign labels and fetch scan counts. So I'll add label and scan count here. So to fetch this information, I click on, I uh, select the codes that I want that information for. I'll go to assign labels, and then it's very easy from there. So first you need to have the QR code ID be the input column. So that would be in column C. And then for the output columns, which are the labels, I will want them to go into column E. Then I click Next. 
And these are all labels that I've created in the dashboard. You cannot create labels in Google Sheets. You will have to do that in BeaconStack. Um, but you can select from all the labels that you've already created. In this case, I'm going to click BeaconStack. I'll assign it. And then it will assign the labels to the codes. So when that's done, when I go back to the dashboard, you can see when I refresh it, they now have the labels applied. The last thing I can do during the bulk upload process is uh, check the scan count on codes. So these codes don't currently have any scans, but if I fetch the scan count, I just select the QR code ID once again in column C. Um, I'll have the scan count generate in column F, and then I can refresh scans. So that will just quickly update, and you'll see that they both have zero scans. But as I get more scans, it will update within the spreadsheet. So one other best practice I would suggest is to have different sheets for different types of campaigns. So as I mentioned, you want a different Google Sheet file for each of the organizations that you want to bulk upload for. But for different campaigns within the same organization, you can use the same sheet, but you will, or the same spreadsheet, but you will want to create different sheets within it. So for example, if I also had app download QR codes I wanted to generate, um, and you can choose the campaigns from here in the add-on section, I would want to use sheet two for those app download codes. So as you can see, it's a very straightforward process. Um, the process of updating your codes is exactly the same as the upload. The only difference would be that this information would already be generated. Um, so you'll just be able to change the name and web URL um, as well as the label and scan count. So uh, good luck and I hope you enjoy using your new Google Sheets add-on.